people still have a very uh, legacy view of where IBM. We've been in the analytics business for so long that we just seem it as an, an antiquated, you know, technology. Only because we've been around. IBM's a hundred-year-old company, right? Or more than a hundred-year-old company. And because we've been in it so long, we don't seem cool. But I guess the one thing that people should understand when it comes to the, the analytics portfolio, that life cycle of things that you want to do with information and analytics, IBM's the coolest kid out there. So it all starts with a business plan. You have to be able to record what your plan is around what's the budget, what's the plan, what's the forecast. And so you start there, and that in our, in our portfolio is called planning analytics. And then once you have the plan, you're actually in execution mode, then you need to be, understand what's going on in the environment. That's what the reporting comes in. Right, the first step on the maturity curve is descriptive. We have our self-service dashboarding, we have our enterprise BI reporting there. That maps very nicely to Cognos Analytics. The next step is diagnostic. Diagnostic is around getting at why something is going on. That's where we're playing with augmented intelligence. That's Watson Analytics. Which we consider our smarts, or smarter data discovery. In order for you to take an unbiased look as a business user, you don't have to have any technical skills, as a business user to understand what are those patterns. And we have machine learning, we have algorithms built in under the covers, but you as the user do not need to know how those algor algorithms work or the patterns are established. Um, but it gives you, gives you um, visibility into what's the unbiased signals and indicators as to why something might be happening. The next step in the maturity curve is then getting into predictive, what will happen next. That's what we're doing around SPSS and data science experience. And the fourth step is prescriptive, and that's really where you take the what's gonna happen next and you start to add in constraints, right? So you take these unconstrained outcomes and you start getting to these optimal outcome Optimal is the key word. What are we adding? We're adding optimization. That's our CPLEX and our decision optimization offerings. So that's how it all maps together across the analytics maturity curve. And at the end, if you find something that you think is really going to be powerful, you want to feed that back into your plan and then do the whole life cycle over again. The one thing I think people should know about IBM analytics is that they have to come and get reintroduced to it. We are doing some very provocative things with the portfolio. We've modernized it, we've reimagined it, but the investments we've been making around smarts and augmented intelligence needs to be an absolute imperative for organizations to embrace. You need to challenge that bias. I think really that's the biggest thing I'd say about IBM is we're committed to solving those big problems and our portfolio clearly represents that that's what we're focused on. We're not a point solution, we're a portfolio op offering that focuses on enterprise challenges.